Hey guys, uh, it's Sarge here, and today I have my friend Admit You're Bad with me on Skype. Hey guys. Yeah, thanks for doing this podcast with me, man. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah, it's alright. Anytime. Yeah, so uh, this week's uh, Wild Weekend is double drops on bosses and also some new cosmetic monkey <laughs> themed items for Squeal of Fortune. Uh, so, what do you think about these? Uh, wild weekends that we're having lately oh well um jagex released double drops before after the bot nuke the first bot nuke actually yeah. um but they pretty much had double drops for pretty much all these bosses um god Wars bosses um revenants to and next that's true so they have done this before yeah and i think they're pretty much introducing it again because yeah because it's it's themed wild weekend double on um, me so yeah yeah so some of the boss some of the bosses that are being dropped are god wars next king black dragon call fight queen dagonoth kings the giant mole black horse or glacers if you pronounce it like that <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> also chaos tunnels which is pretty weird because um yeah, they that's... don't drop they don't drop anything that good i guess and so doesn't the giant mole yeah. revenant dungeons is a pretty good place I made most of my money back there, and the stronghold of security, yeah. which is weird as well. That is weird, because like the most profitable thing in the stronghold, at least, would probably be what? The Ancuous? Yeah, the Death Runes and Bloods. Yeah, and they also drop uh, Pure Essence as well, quite a bit. Yeah, I haven't been there for a long time, so... <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, so, uh, which one... So, I think, personally, that a lot of these areas will be pretty crowded... Uh, do you have any thoughts about this? Um, yeah, last I last double drop weekend I went to I went God Wars and I went Nexing as well. Well, God Wars dungeons was packed like every ban every world. If you're trying to get a Bandos world, it's gonna be really hard. You need like it's like a must to have overloads to even get one. There's yeah. gonna be a lot of crashes and it's it's a lot of it's a lot of crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Do you think uh, the prices for like uh, let's say Bandos will increase right now? Um, because people want that item to go bossing, or do you think it'll start decreasing? Um, most likely it'll start decreasing, like in the last double drop weekend, um, because obviously there's more items becoming coming into the game, so the demand for it will be lower. Right, and obviously a lot of people will be doing this, so uh, there probably will be lots of drops and items being introduced to the game, which could potentially lower prices. Uh, I'm not so sure if it'll lower it in the long run, but definitely temporarily, especially because once people have their mindset that it'll drop prices, uh, it'll just be a down, downward spiral from there. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, last double drop weekend, Bandos was about 20 mil, and right after it was about 15 or 14, but then it slowly rose back to like its normal price around 18 to 19, yeah. and yeah. So it did still drop no matter what, though, in the long run. So uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, potentially this would be either a good time to sell your armors or go bossing and try to make up the loss. Yeah, that's actually that's actually what I did. I sold um, all my glacier's boots, um, my bandos, my armadillo. Oh yeah, and, the yeah. Boots I just bought, sure. I bought, yeah, I bought Pernix to go nexting with. I it's, that's probably going to drop as well, Pernix. Right. And uh, for everyone watching uh admit your bad is maxed out completely uh so uh <laughs> he he has quite a bit of insight about this game and um he's pretty good at bossing aren't you yeah i next quite a bit i did i do a lot of pvm with my friends i was in pso it was a pro pvm clan oh nice nice man yeah i'm currently in max right now though yeah <laughs> how's that going uh, it's pretty good sometimes boring but yeah, That's, it's where you find your PVMing teams. Oh yeah, yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think we talked quite a bit about the bosses and the double drops. Uh, oh, Barrow's Brothers too. I think we forgot. Oh that. yeah, yeah, Barrow's Brothers as well. Yeah, so that that'll be interesting too. Um, I mean, Barrow's isn't that profitable, but perhaps with the double drops, it'll be less crowded and worth doing for once. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else you want to say about the bosses? 
Oh yeah, um, places that I don't recommend you going to is a stronghold of security. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a really low level that can't kill any of these bosses. Yeah. The giant mall might be suitable for lower level players. Um, because if they can't do God Wars Dungeon or... Yeah, and such. Pro pro players should go to the next thing because... Yeah, double drops, getting that Pernix body, the 500 mil. Oh man, yeah, that would yeah. be awesome. <laughs> Yeah, actually, last double drop weekend, I got a Pernix body, um, a double drop. It was a split. It was about a 70 mil split. Oh, that's pretty, pretty good. good. That's pretty good. And yeah, that would be basically. Oh, that'd be so much more over this weekend. So uh, even with the price drops. So yeah, of course. I would also scratch out Chaos Tunnels because I don't think any of them really <laughs> drop that. Yeah, like what's the best drop you can get there? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> dragon bones, double the dragon bone. <laughs> Good for botters, I guess. <laughs> so, do you would you get double dragon bones too? I don't know. It says um. I don't know if that would be included. You find a duplicate. I know it actually says you will find a duplicate of everything looted from the beast below. So I'm pretty sure it will. It's pretty oh. be interesting. That might actually be okay, maybe. Yeah, I guess. But chaos tunnels, the most profitable thing I know of is dragon bones and <laughs> yeah. if you have to chaos tunnels green dragons it's packed with bots all right okay um so also uh moving on uh there's also the squeal to win uh for, <laughs> <You mean> sque- <laughs> uh, that's what they're calling it the squeal to win and you can win uh, a, some various uh monkey themed squeal of fortune items uh the monkey mace a monkey barrel and uh, three uh, monkey-themed hats. And you can kind of see that in the picture I have on the screen. So uh, I think this is a ploy for Jagex just to make more money. I think we can agree (laughs) on that right away. Yeah, (laughs) for sure. (laughs) Yeah, Um, and this will be lasting from the 19th to the 21st. Uh, So it is going to be a one-time thing. Uh, Do you think that they'll keep these items on the squeal of fortune or i doubt it it's supposed to be a rare item i guess like limited items so it's going to be it's going to encourage other players to buy squeal of spin squeal of fortune spins just to play and get those get these items yeah so so are you gonna do it (laughs) no i don't want to fall into that (laughs) scam yeah i think it's a kind of a scam too um last time i didn't buy any points and I have uh, the tattoos, you know, the mystic tattoos. Oh, I never got any one. of them, man. I had like nine spins. I never got <sighs> any of them. I saved my spin tickets as well. Yeah. I was so mad. I was doing rune span and I got so many um, free spin <laughs> tickets that they just added up and I got everything. It was, um, it was nice. I mean, but it's kind of wasting my bank space right now. I almost don't <laughs> want any of these items that uh, they're giving out. <laughs> yeah, and also... Jagex should make more bank space because since they're bringing in new boss and such, it's going to be more items. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be new items. Oh, t- speaking about bosses, what about the QBD? The Queen Black Dragon. Oh, right, right. Well, well, that's... Uh, I, I don't know when that will be released. It may be next week or it may be the very last update of the week. And... Uh, if any of you guys listening uh, haven't watched Rune Shark's uh, video that he uploaded, um, it's an interview with a mod, I believe. Um, they talk about it for a little bit. Um, I, it's kind of interesting. Uh, you want to talk about it a little bit? I think you watched the video a little bit better than I did. Yeah, so it's basically a boss where you can't kill but put to sleep. And once you kill it, you'll be like, lead it into a chest room where you can loot items sort of like a barrel's chest and you have a chance of getting new dragon oriented gear such as such as the dragon kite shield which will probably not be much better than a chaotic kite shield in that matter probably be an item to match the full dragon set i guess yeah it might have a special effect as well um I'm Maybe. not sure. I don't, the dragon square shield didn't have a special effect. Yeah, it didn't. And I, it, it I is it a though. dragon item, so it probably won't. I think you're yeah. right about that. They're also releasing a dragon crossbow, which rangers have been asking for a long time. Because, like, rangers pretty much underpowered in RS. Yeah. 
Are, are they releasing so, the crossbow with this update? Yeah, they are also releasing it. it they confirmed it in Rushak's po- podcast. Oh, that's nice. That's going to be really great for Rangers. Yeah, so if, when this boss release, I, I recommend you guys camp these because the prices of these items will be so high. I remember last time uh, when Polyport Dungeon came out, Polyport stats were like 20 more each. <laughs> now they're like 500k. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So in the very beginning, they're going to be worth quite a bit. Um, yeah, then it's going to drop and level out. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like with Dragon Claws or any of those items that were released right away. I think Dragon Claws were worth like, oh, well, over a hundred mil in the first couple of days. So, uh, if yeah. you if you rush and do these bo- this new boss, uh, the Queen Black Dragon, and you get like a Dragon Kite Shield or a uh, Dragon Crossbow. Try to wait it out until it gets like into the 100 mil range, then just sell it because it'll probably drop. Especially because this boss is soloable, which is pretty cool, I think. Uh, because now you can solo a boss instead of having to have a team um, required to do a <laughs> boss for good rewards. Yeah, also, if you read further down a bit, it says even if you're not quite ready to face the monster's Queen Black Dragon just yet, there's a brand new dungeon leading down to her lair. It includes training opportunities for a large range of combat levels, along with a particularly smi- slimy set of Slayer assignments. Nice. Yeah, Yeah, I just read that. I, d- I didn't see that before, to be honest. I think I skimmed over it. <laughs> slimy set of Slayer assignments. I wonder what that would be. Yeah, yeah. That's... Probably interesting. Probably a new new Slayer monster, which might, which might drop rare items. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. yeah. I think we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I don't think Queen Black Dragon will be released until the end of the month, um, especially because this is my main reason. Because on the behind the scenes, it has May Madness first, then it has Bonfires, then it has uh, Song of the Depths, which is a quest that's going to be released. Um, we can talk about that for a little bit. Then it has the Queen Black Dragon. Um, which is mentioned at the very end. So far, these updates have happened in sequence, so uh, chances are you'll have to wait till the end of the month for the Queen Black Dragon, I think. Yeah, and Jagex normally releases the biggest update for last. Yeah, usually they do, unfortunately. (laughs) I wish they would do it first. (laughs) Yeah. There's also a free members update. It's a Diamond Jubilee. I think it's a Cryptic Clue. It's a new cryptic clue. I did I did the last one for Clan Citadel, and I got um it was it was pretty much basically a full wizard set. Right. Yeah, one of the the lady the wizard Avion has. It's all right, I guess, but I never wear it though. <laughs> yeah. So, so I guess much... it's nice to do the cryptic clue fest is actually pretty fun. So if it releases, you should part you should totally take part in this. Yeah. Because it's yeah if you're into puzzles and clues and such. Yeah, that that should be pretty cool. I've I've never really been into the puzzles and cryptic clues <laughs> and stuff like that before. I like the easy stuff that's in game, and I could just like just training methods, anything to get my skills up for more money. That's what I like. But it should be pretty interesting content, um, and it's a free and members update, so free players you can do it too. Uh, so, anything else uh, worth mentioning? I think we pretty much covered Mentioned. everything. Yeah, everything in May. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, we're getting close to everything being revealed, so it's going to be a huge uh, time for anticip- anticipation uh, for these updates to be released. Yeah, totally. All right, so that basically covers it up. Yeah, and uh, thank you again um, for joining me on this podcast. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, mate. Yeah, so we'll, we'll definitely do another one in the future. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, take care. All right, see you guys.